Rory McIlroy makes a harsh threat to Netflix during the signing of the Full Swing documentary. Whether you're a LIV golf fan backed by Saudi Arabia or not, the arrival of this league made a clear message to golf professionals who were in a comfort zone. Anyone who wants to continue at a high level needs to adapt to changes quickly. This became even clearer with the proximity of the release of the documentary Full Swing by Netflix. The main player in activity, Rory McIlroy did not like to know that he would have his privacy and the privacy of his family invaded during the filming of the documentary and made harsh threats to the entertainment giant. If you want to stay on top of everything that happens in the world of golf, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell of notifications. During this season, we are watching a change in comfort zone happen very clearly by the athletes. They are not enjoying anything that is happening. The PGA Tour increased sponsorship values for an exclusive group of events, such as the WM Phoenix Open, which has an estimated $20 million prize pool. Meanwhile, CBS continues to think of new alternatives to improve the broadcasts of the competitions. What can be clearly seen in an interview with Max Homa during the Farmers Insurance Open about two weeks ago. As if all the problems that have been happening in the world of golf were not enough, next Wednesday will be released a series of Netflix documentaries called Full Swing which has caused great discomfort among athletes. After the great success of Drive to Survive, which is a documentary series that follows the seasons of Formula One, Netflix will do something similar with golfers. The documentary will be available through streaming on February 15th and will follow the athletes on and off the fields during the PGA Tour competitions. The documentary promises unprecedented access to behind the scenes of the world's greatest golf stars, such as 2022 Masters winner Scotty Scheffler, PGA champion Justin Thomas, Brooks Kepka, Ian Poulter, and world number one Rory McIlroy. The series will consist of eight episodes that will be available from day one and was produced in the same format as Drive to Survive, including this can be seen during the trailer with several interviews in familiar environments. And it is precisely this invasion of family environments that is very bothering athletes, the fact that they are forced to expose their privacy and their families. The release of this documentary forces professionals to look closely at their comfort zones, where it is necessary to adjust to maintain a closer contact with the media that even puts the safety of golf athletes and their families at risk. Rory McIlroy, first in the world ranking and spokesman for the PGA Tour who fights bravely against LIV, is the main athlete to criticize this change in behavior that he and his teammates are being forced to accept. He says he was open to the idea of granting an interview to LIV, but needed to be convinced. Rory adopted the same stance when he was approached by Netflix to participate in the documentary. I kind of took the attitude of seeing how the first season works, to see if I feel comfortable letting the cameras in a little more in my life. He said. But the story changed during the collapse of professional golf and a conversation with showrunner Chad Mum that eventually convinced McElroy to participate in the documentary. But even after confirming his participation during the WM Phoenix Open this week, he made it clear that he will not fully open the doors of his personal life, valuing the safety of his family. I made sure that the parameters were many, you do not go to my house, do not come in my car, do not come close to my family. He said. If you want to do something with me in golf tournaments, that's fine. Those were the basic rules that were set out. These new basic rules all involved are still trying to figure out in a very disturbed and reserved world of athletes. Leave your comment on what you think of the documentary Full Swing that will be released on the 15th by Netflix. Do you believe that it is correct or not for athletes to open their personal lives to the production of documentaries and TV shows? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be the first to receive updated news from the world of golf.